So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix this contains more than 10,000 triangles. If you have a 3D model that is very large, then I will show you how you can go and scale it down. So in this example, we will look at this model and we will try to get it into Roblox Studio. So as it is right now, it has too many details to be able to go and import to Roblox Studio. So first of all, you need to have Blender installed on your computer. And when you have that, you can just go to files and say import and then choose the file that you want to import here. In this case, it was a GLB file that I have. So now when you have the model inside Blender, you can go up here and click on this arrow here and say statistics because then you can actually see how many triangles you have inside your object. If you just click it, you can see only for the object also. And as you can see, this have almost half a million triangles. So we are not able to go and put this into Roblox Studio. So to fix this, we need to go to this wrench icon. When you click on the object you have, go to the wrench icon, say add modifier, and then you want to search and you want to search for this decimate and i actually will say before you do this decimate you can actually go and hit tab here and then you can see all the vertices we have in the object and let's say that you ai generated your object then you need to go and hit m and say that you want to merge by distance just so we don't have any vertices that is not merged because if you don't do that it might look a little bit weird when you begin to decimate but for now you can see we have three options here we have collapse on subdivide and we have planner so it actually depends on how your model is created which one you should use so you might as well just go and try everyone to see if it looks good but i know when it's ai generated like this then it is this collapse that we have to use so instead of a ratio of one i will go and put it to 0 0.05 and let's try it out and now you can see we came from almost half a million triangles here to 24,000, so almost 25,000. So we, we need to go a little bit further down. So let's say 0 0.03, and it's still not enough. So I have to go a little bit more down. And as you can see now, we have 0 0.02. So it actually looked pretty good when you think about that we came from half a million triangles to under 10,000 now. So this will actually be able to go inside Roblox Studio. But of course, if you want to optimize your game even more, you might want to go and scale it even more down so that your game is not going to lag. So just for fun, I put it down to 0 0.002. And now there is under 1000 triangles inside this object so let's try to go and save this and see if we can put it into a game in roblox studio so first of all let's go and click the object go to file and you want to export it and we want to export it F as fbx because that is what roblox studio want and from in here i think we need to go and say that it should be copying the path mode here and you also need to tap this embedded texture on and we want to take the selected object and then let's go and try this out so we can just go and stay it's called statue and i just want to drop it on the desktop and let's say export so when you're inside roblox studio you first of all when you're up in these tabs here you need to go to view and say asset manager it was the one i have over here and then you want to go and bulk import so we do want to go to the desktop here and find the file so it is right here statue and say open and for these settings we can just say apply all so now you can see we do not have any problems there is some unsupported texture format but let's try to take a look at it here okay so i also just added the texture so that you can actually see how it looks inside roblox studio so it actually looked pretty nice also with the texture and i will of course show you how i did that so if we go back to blender let's go and click our object here and let's go to this tab up here and say image editor and then you have to go to the images you have up here and then actually find your texture that you want to go and export with the file so in this case it's called image one it is this one and this is the ai generated texture so it looks a little bit funny but it works for the model so you want to go then and click on image and say save as and once you're in here 
you can just go and put it as a PNG file and then go and save it. And it should be the same name because else it don't know what file it should look for because the file it is looking for is called exactly this what the image is called. So let's go and say save as image. And I forgot to mention you have to go and save it the same place where you save your model. So in this case, it was at my desktop. And then you actually need once again to go back here to the 3D viewport and then actually click the model again and say file and go and export it once again. So it should be an FBX file and just go and make sure you have copy and you also have the embedded texture here. And then of course the selected object. And let's just go and override the statue we created before and say export. So if we go back here now and go and say bulk import and find the statue file, let's go and say open and say apply all then the only thing it will say is that the mesh has been resized so now you can go and close this and just drag the statue inside your game so that is basically how you go and scale your 3d model down so it don't have so many triangles inside and then you also got a little bonus how you go and take the texture inside the game also so please go and like and subscribe and else just go and have a nice day Bye. Hit subscribe, let the fam unite. Don't forget to like, spark the algorithm light. One click closer, dreams in your sight. Join the Zeppelin flow, let's take flight.